Hey guys, Diamond Wake here, and in today's video, we're setting up a wake fort. Yeah, so today we're going to be setting up the trip with these liquid force bindings. Uh, they're open toe, and a dog is barking. So not only are we setting up this board in this video, we're going to be explaining it to you so you guys will know how to do it in the future and what's okay to do with your board and what's not okay to do when you're setting up your wakeboard. We're going to be showing you how to set up this board with these two right here. Um, we'll show you their different stances and uh, even preferences or uh, I guess what width you want to set your bindings and um, everything like that. So. Let's get into it. So one thing that you do want to figure out on your wakeboard, when you're wakeboarding, is which foot you're going to put in front of the other. And when you're setting up your bindings, if you want your board to look better, and when you look down, you can see the board going the correct way, you want to set up your bindings the way that you want to do it. So, I personally ride my left foot forward regular, so does Luke. And the good way to figure it out, that's my ankle brace because I tripped on Luke. And the good way to figure it out is you're gonna take somebody behind you and they're gonna push you forwards and whatever foot you step out to stop yourself with is the foot that you're gonna put forwards. So we have test dummy Ryan here and he is going to demonstrate. So I will just push him and he stepped with his right foot forward. So that's the foot that he would ride with forwards. He would be riding goofy because his right foot would be forwards. So once you figure out which foot you're gonna put forward on your board, the next thing that you're gonna have to do is figure out how wide you want your bindings to go. And most boards have a very adjustable amount of places to go. This one, for example, the Liquid Force Trip, has three different spots where you can put your bindings. You can make them more narrow in the middle or keep them out wider. And honestly, it comes to personal preference on what you wanna do, but if you really have no idea what you wanna do, a good way to test this is you jump straight up and how far apart your feet are on the board is where you wanna do it. So we have our demonstrator, Max, here, and he is going to jump up on the board and figure out where the ideal binding placement for him would be. So go, go for it. And as you can see, because our board is used and kind of sunburnt, I guess, in a way, he's right where it should be because he rides this board. So it means we have had him set up in the right position for a long time. So we're gonna put these on like this, uh, which will be, yikes. So we're gonna put these on here, uh, which will be left foot forward, but really you could ride either way. Um, that push forward is kind of just a preference thing. If you already know that you're regular, you can ride regular. And if you know you're goofy, you can ride goofy. So if the push doesn't really line up, uh, it's really most what you're comfortable with. So you could try one way, and if you don't like it, try the other way. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna screw these on and show you how to do that. Yeah. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna put the, the binding on the middle of these three screws because uh, that's where Max landed this jump. So we're gonna put it on there and then we've got these different holes on the sides here uh, for the different angles you can set your binding. So you can set it as far out as this or as narrow as this, which I would not recommend at all. Um, so you're probably gonna wanna go either straight forward or, but probably a little bit uh, out because uh, that'll be the most comfortable, but whatever you find most comfortable is the best for you, so. So I have now set up the board, with both bindings on there. Um, we've got them a little bit out, but for the most part forward. And they're in the middle stance here. So it's not too wide and not too, uh, not wide. So yeah, now this board's ready to go and now Max can ride it. You so now we're going to demonstrate how to set up a surfboard because we just did a wakeboard and wake surfing is also a common thing. So here we go. Bam, it's done. 
Now you're ready to wake surf with this wake surfer. Yeah. Uh, hopefully you already put your fins in because we didn't tell you how to. So comment down below, leave a like, and subscribe for more videos in the future. If you have any videos you want us to do in the future, leave them in the comments. We will gladly do them. And uh, join the Discord. You can toss things in the idea lab we've got in there. So, uh, yeah. Have fun out there. See you later. Nice. <laughs>